campaign towards the December 23 presidential elections in DR Congo have been marked by acts of violence. At least five supporters were killed on the sidelines of candidates' meetings, an atmosphere that recalls the demonstrations of 2016 before Joseph Kabila's mandate expired. Security forces shot down 26 demonstrators. Dr. Dennis McQuagga, co-winner of the Nobel Peace Prize, has some fears. The Congolese people have experienced immense suffering for 20 years, and we no longer need conflict. We are already living in a state of almost permanent conflict. But this exacerbation could be fatal for this wounded population. And so I think we must avoid that. Today, we must not wait until December 24, when all candidates will use non-peaceful means to claim victory. I think there are many signs today that the elections will be anything but transparent, credible, and above all, peaceful. The authorities are also concerned about the resurgence of community conflicts, particularly in the town of Beni, where more than 3,000 troops have been deployed. The main threat remains, including that of Ugandan ADF fighters and Myanmar militiamen, who, according to the army, were responsible for Sunday's fire against the election body's warehouse in the east of the country, raising concerns about the elections. Another concern is the Ebola virus, which has so far infected nearly 500 people and killed more than 200, the second worst epidemic in the history of the DRC.